Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be covering the uh, Ed Tracker Pro Wireless Unit. It's a head tracking unit. Make sure you guys use the right tools for the equipment, by the way. I have my uh, trusty little blade here. Very, very, uh, very useful. Alright, so we're going to do the unboxing and I'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial as well. Here's the uh, head tracker and the USB. The USB plugs into your laptop or your desktop. And it's just like an infrared. This is our quick start guide. And it comes in multiple languages. Uh, English, French, Italian, German. So here's our USB. We're going to plug that into the uh, desktop. And it should start flashing red. There's a little red light on the side. When you turn on the Ed Tracker, uh, the light, the red light on the USB will remain uh, constant red. That means it's connected. It has a uh, Velcro here, which you can attach to the uh, to the headset, your headphones, like so. Very stable, actually. So no matter how much you shake it around, it won't come off. You shouldn't worry about that. Alright, so we're going to go plug it in and uh, show how we're going to set it up. Uh, make sure you go to their site and download the software. It's Ed Tracker Pro Software version 30016. Download that. And then you go to the installer tool, it'll show you all kinds of information, how to uh, calibrate your device and what steps to take. If you want to upgrade your firmware, just go to uh, the bottom and download the 3.5 version. Uh, check constantly, there are new versions available every so often. They do uh, actually improve on it. So here we're going to show you how we're going to flash the driver for the unit. Make sure you download and unzip the files, like I'm doing here. Uh, go to firmware and open the uh, open the bat file. Double click on the bat file, and the black screen should pop up. It's trying to locate the, uh, the tracker, so unplug your USB first and then plug in your Pro while the bat file is open. So once you plug it in, it should locate it once you turn it on. There we go, found it. And that's it. It installed the new firmware and we're all set. So we close up all the windows here and we're going back to the software. And as you can see, it shows us the rotations when we start the calibration, it'll show you all the rotations you have to do to get all the accesses working properly. You do need to do this right. That way, uh, the, the end result of the, the end result of the uh, calibration on the magnometer should be a full circle, a full uh, 3D circle, 3D view. So these are all the accesses we have to uh, we have to do. What I do though is I take the unit itself and I uh, tape it onto a hammer or some kind of long stick that I can use and it's much easier to rotate like I did here as you can see I rotate left and then I rotate a complete right on top and then I go forward left and then complete right and then backwards Again, left, and then right, and then bottom, left, right, and then to the left side. Again, pull left, pull right, flip it over to the right side, pull left, pull right. And here's your full 3D circle. When you see it nice and round, the blue and the green matching, 
it means you uh, got a complete 360 uh, degree view so the uh, magnometer is actually set up properly here so I'm gonna untape it oh if you want to change the orientation if you want the button to face the front because right now it's upside down all you have to do is flip it around and start your uh, rescan again press the rescan button so now what will happen is it'll flip the forward view like I did here look at this now so now we have it set properly the button is in the front I look down I look up everything works right so let's take it off the hammer and put it on our headset now There we go, we got it working properly. Buttons facing forward. We're all done with this. I'm gonna show you guys the settings. You do need to download Open Track as well. You can find it on uh, different websites. It's a nice little app. It's absolutely crucial to have Open Track working along with Ed Tracker Pro app. Uh, these two apps go side hand in hand. You can't work one without the other. Plus, uh, each and every game has to have a track IR enabled uh, in the game so these two apps can work properly. If uh, a game doesn't support track IR, then unfortunately sometimes the game won't work with he this uh, head tracking unit. So that's the intensity. If you guys want to lower it, I usually have it around 350 to uh, 4.5 now according to where your USB is located from your head uh, from your unit that's where you have to select so I have my desktop PC on on the right and the USB is sort of at the top so I select top right you can have it individually selected yaw pitch and roll but I have them all working as a, as a single unit. When I'm done, I select save my settings. I feel that exponential is the best setting for me. I don't know if that works for you. Check it out. Uh, you can reset your center of view with a keyboard as well. I use the decimal key on the uh, numpad. You can also turn the unit on and off. And those settings can be adjusted on any key you like, any desired key. So this is the open track. We're going to show all the settings here. How I have them set up on yaw, pitch and roll. Feel free to adjust them according to your liking guys. But I'm just going to show you each and every uh, aspect of the app. You also have to select use track IR hard free track as a user interface. You're going to need a DLL file which is located in the open track app itself. You could either select the, uh, the normal DLL or the 64 bit. This is the uh, path it's in. You 
either one will work. If you're running 64-bit Windows, select the 64 version. So these are the intensity levels of the open track. You can adjust them again according to what you feel is uh, works best for you. That's it. Turn it on and everything should work. Again, uh, the game has to support track IR. And here we have uh, an assistant. My son's gonna help us out here. He's gonna showcase the, uh, the device working on his head. Thanks, Val. It's a nice light unit. Doesn't affect you uh, while you're playing. There we go, my son is doing all kinds of rotations. He's recentering the, uh, the view right now. You have to remain completely still when it's calibrating. <laughs> all right, son, you're the best. He knows what he's doing. And here we go. Here we have the Head Tracker Pro working. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget, share, like, favorite, subscribe. And I hope this guide helped you guys out and you enjoy your Head Tracker Pro wireless. Take care.